Hey guys, it's Trevor again. So the current Demon Prince model, well, it leaves a lot to be desired. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. In addition, he also kind of looks just like a generic demon. Which is a bit of an issue because as we know, there are four Chaos Gods, all with their own unique aesthetic and theme. And if you look at the current Demon Prince model, I'm gonna say that he doesn't really fit into any of those four themes. As a result, there are a lot of 40k players out there who are looking for alternative Demon Prince models that fit their chosen Chaos God. Recently, a friend of mine found an alternative model that he thought would be a perfect fit for a Demon Prince of Siege, and he asked me to paint it for him. And that model is Valduk, or Valduk, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, from Archvillain Games. Now, personally, I think this model looks stunning. And more importantly, I think he really fits into the whole Zinch aesthetic. He's a big old bird man, he's got the magical fire in his hand, he's got his gold chains, he's got his sorcerer's robe, he's got the candles everywhere. I just think he looks so magical and so bird-like and so Zinch. So today, I thought I'd just share with you the things that I really like about this model and a few things that I think could be improved. So firstly, I think the detail on this model is really fantastic. If you look at the runes on his cloak, they are all different and they are all highly detailed so they look really great when you pick them out in a contrasting colour. The fire in his hand also has a lot of lovely detail and it looks really magical because it actually has a skull sculpted into it as well. I think the candles on his base are also a really nice touch because they give you this sort of mystical ritual vibe as though he's just ascended to demonhood and also it gives you a lot of space to play around with some really fun lighting effects. And if you look closely, he even has a set of scrolls underneath his robes. If that's not attention to detail, then I don't know what is. Oh, and his wings, we have to talk about his wings. Every feather has a lot of detail, and they're also surprisingly easy to paint using dry brushing, because all the nice ridges catch all that bright paint and really help the wings to pop. So obviously, I really like how this model looks, but I do think there are a few things that could have been improved with the model. So first of all, this model was 3D printed with a resin that was very, very brittle. So this pair of wings did get dropped, and when they got dropped, they shattered. If you look closely, you can see here this shiny line where I've had to re-glue back all the feathers using super glue. And of course, that one yellow feather is the shard that we lost, so I had to replace it with milliput. Another thing is, the main body of this model was 3D printed as a single piece. This meant that it was quite hard to reach some of those details under his cloak that I mentioned earlier while I was trying to paint it. If the main body of this model could be split into separate parts when printing and then assembled after painting, I think this would be a lot easier to paint. It is nice though that the wings were printed separately from the body, so it was a lot easier to paint those. Finally, for those of you who are really OCD about base sizes and shape, the base that this model stands on is quite close to that of the OG Demon Prince, which is 60mm, but it's a little bit irregular. To solve this issue, I just made myself a 60mm base out of sprues. Then I stuck on the model and filled in the gaps with some milliput and shaped it such that it looked like all part of one big rock. So overall, I think the problems with this model are very minor and if you're looking for a nice alternative for a Demon Prince of Zinch model, I would highly recommend this model. And to answer your next question, no, this video is not sponsored by Archvillain Games. But hey, if they want to sponsor me, I'm not going to say no. So now I'm sure you're wondering, how do I get my hands on one of these? Well, there are a number of licensed sellers who can 3D print the model for you and ship it to you. This is what my friend did. Alternatively, if you own a 3D printer or know someone who does, you can buy the STL files online and 3D print it for yourself. I have of course included links to both these options in the description. And I forgot to mention, you even have four different pose options for this model when you order it. So in conclusion, I really like this model, and if you're looking for a Demon Prince of Zinch alternative, then I would highly recommend this to you. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Huge shout out also to my friend Satya for giving me the opportunity to paint this model and to showcase it on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.